All right, so our next drill is a transition drill for your entire team. The way that it's set up is that you've got one line uh, in the deep corner on the right side of the floor, and then one on the opposite corner of the floor, and you've got two players at half court facing out, ready to receive the passes from those lines. Okay, the reason that we like this drill is that it allows us to work on setting specific criteria and challenging our team to make our mark and then to constantly progress throughout the season. So the way the drill works is like this. Each guy in the back corner has a certain set of rules. He's got to start deep in the corner and he's allowed one dribble with his right hand or her right hand on the right side of the floor. And then here are the criteria. This must be a chess pass. When he gets it and he sprints up the floor, when he receives that ball back, it should be received on a bounce pass. One dribble max to the basket, take our layup, get our own rebound, and then it's passed to the next line. And we're gonna do that continuously, and we're gonna set a goal. So one thing that I do is, the first time we do this drill, we set the clock for two minutes. We let the players do the best that they can and we use that as the mark. And every time we beat that mark, we constantly increase it as the practices go on throughout the season. One thing to note is that you wanna make sure that your team is making great passes throughout the entire drill. So that means that even when the ball comes out of the rim and they grab that rebound, you wanna make sure you're given a good pass to initiate the next player that goes. Ready to go, boys? All right, ready. Two minutes on the clock. Go. Hold up, okay, good, hold up, hold up. So one thing that you could also note is that when you make your team do this to build that team camaraderie, it's important to let the guys and girls know every basket that goes through the hoop, you want the team counting nice and loud every single time. All right, so let's go one more time. Let's get the counting going nice and loud every single basket. Let's get the balls back to start. Ready, go. Nice and loud on our counting. Give good passes. Good, let's go, let's go, let's go, push. Push that ball out in front on the sides. Keep that ball in your right hand on the right side. Give a good dribble, good job, Pat. One hard dribble and finish at the rim, good job. Let's go, nice and loud, don't cheat. Hold up, great job. Okay, hold the balls, great job. Now, you can make this drill as specific as you want. You could add your own set of criteria. One thing with these guys for myself is, on this catch, they're dribbling the ball with their left hand and finishing a layup. For me, I want that ball to be staying in their right hand. I want them to take overhand layups right now at this point. So those would be things that I would be correcting throughout my practices. And then as we get better at this drill, the team will be able to do it the way that I want them to do it so that it meets all of my criteria as the coach. And then, as I said earlier, what you wanna do is as that number increases, week one you may hit 20, but by the end of the season, your team goal might be 42, 45, depending on how fast and how efficient you can get it. And of course, what you wanna do with, by the end of this is you wanna repeat the same process on the left side of the floor.